All right. Well, I am going to tell you before I make this video and what I've what this topic is about in this video. I again am going to say and I don't I don't think I can do this all the time, people. I don't know if I can explain this every time. When I googled the biblical definition of wicked it gave all these synonyms okay now i want you to i want you to witness this i mean this is so powerful that if people were to see and 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 i and do i believe that god is behind this do i believe that god is behind this i sure do I do believe. I don't think that God is behind. I, 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 let me let me rephrase all this. I know that God is not behind when a Bible version out here takes script, scripture completely out of the Bible, like the NIV has done. But do I believe that when these people wrote these? books their version do I think that God was behind it I do I do think God was behind it just like I know God was behind me looking up the biblical definition of wicked versus the the definition of wicked okay um now so, what I did a minute ago, it was uh, earlier today, I was trying to look up, uh, darkness, darkness, you know, light, dark, I was trying to, I looked up where it was talking about these things, because I wanted to see why what refers to darkness and what refers to light which we know Christ and God there is only light no darkness and I know that the darkness has to be Satan and God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are light okay now the man of sin is Satan. And that is who we need to alleviate out of our lives. And I'm not I know that you guys already know this. I'm just trying to to show you something in a certain way and hopefully it catches on. So, a minute ago this scripture that I talked about a few weeks ago came up and you know what I did I went and I looked at what it said where's it at uh... oh wrong spot I'm already going to have it in the title. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and what the heck? Oh, here we go wrong spot. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whitened sepulchers, whatever, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, 
and of all uncleannessness. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. So this is the King James Version. Iniquity. Now, we know for a fact Jesus denies people for iniquity. And depending on which Bible you look at, one says workers of iniquity. The other one says lawlessness. And if you read the scripture, you can tell it's a future event. It is not when the Bible was made. <clears throat> I'm not going to say people are not already getting judged. I have not the answer there. But what I did is I decided that I saw the scripture and what I did is I went and I looked to see what the other Bible said. The NIV, instead of iniquity, it said wickedness. The ESV said lawlessness. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is no different than 1 Corinthians 6 9. And uh, I thought I talked about another scripture uh, less than a month back that did the same thing as this Practicing sin is lawlessness. What do you think iniquity is? Would be the same thing. Just like wickedness. I know that God bestowed it in me that day to talk about modern day Pharisees because I had never watched a video on modern day Pharisees. What do you think that is wrong in the church today? What do you think that is wrong? The church is the people. The building and the people. That right there. Sin. 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 Now how did Jesus Christ get rid of sin present and future, if all over the entire Word of God in the New Testament, even after Jesus going back to be at the right-hand side of the Father, that it says that practicing sin, Jesus denies people for practicing sin, which is lawlessness. Then you read where Jesus had a problem with that. You think he's not going to have a problem at judgment with it? <sighs> Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like white and sepulchers, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, and of all uncleannessness. Even so ye also outward, outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Sin. They're full of sin. They try to sit here and say that they're of God, but they're not. And Jesus had a problem with it back then. What do you think the future has in store? Wake up, people. Do I think that God was behind using multiple words where you could tie these scriptures together 
and see that it refers to sin? I do. Now, why people haven't seen and woken up to this, I don't know. I don't know why I wouldn't be surprised if there is a a Bible version out there that has unrighteousness instead of wickedness, iniquity, lawlessness. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. Well, I know when Jesus denies people for 1 Corinthians 6, 9, in the King James, it says unrighteous. The NIV used to say lawless. But it still goes back to the word sin. I'm sorry, people. When you received the Holy Spirit and you first started living for God, Jesus forgot about all those sins. But you go back into sin and he has remembered every one of them. Someone I don't even know why. I don't really want to talk anymore. Someone said one day, how do you repent of all your sins? Well, you didn't have to confess every one of your sins. No one had to confess of all their sins. I don't have to sit here and name all the sins that I have committed against God because, well, you know, Jeff could probably remember. But, it's not about that. If God, if He forgave you for all your sins when you gave your life to Him, why would you have to confess all of them? See, someone used that excuse one day in their video. And it's not about that. It's about the whole picture. That is unreal, though, to see another scripture where they've used all these words. And every one of them refers back to sin. Iniquity, wickedness, Sodom and Gomorrah, wickedness and sinners, lawlessness, practicing sin. All three of them. Do you see how that is today in the church today? To say you're of God. To say you're of God. On the outside. But on the inside. Where it counts. You would love for God to judge you for your superficial. Isn't that what that is? The outside. But it doesn't work that way. I'm telling you. People have got to wake up.